I can do. Just give me the power. I've asked for the very day I got in office. Give me the border patrol. Give me the people. Give me the people to judge it. Give me the people who can stop this and make it work right. Give me the border patrol. <laughs> that even mean give me the power you know what i can't wait to ask the congressman about it joining me now one of the few good ones we have there congressman jim banks out of indiana hopefully fingers crossed going to be senator here before too long okay congressman for those of us who don't quite understand civics which sadly is many of us does the president not have the power to secure the border yeah w what a total bold-faced liar joe biden is keep in yeah. mind that the border is wide open because Joe Biden on his first day in office signed 62 executive orders counted by our, our friend Stephen Miller, who, who listed all of them on X earlier today, including stopping construction of the border wall. He ended the effective uh, uh, remain in Mexico policy, the very effective Trump policy. He reenacted catch and release, and he did dozens of other things by executive order, which means he did it himself. The border is wide open because Joe Biden made it that way. He's got the power to close the border, just like he abused his power to, to open the border wide open. And, and I, I can't believe anybody would fall for uh, those bold-faced lies, but that's exactly what the mainstream media is doing today. They're acting like what Joe Biden has to say is the gospel and the truth. Jim, something that concerns me a great deal is the basic structure we have right now in American politics. What does it say about us as a country that as soon as Democrats take over, because this modern party is just a bunch of dirty commies, they have the ability to open up the border? If they want to open up the border, and as soon as they take power, they open up the border, and we can't stop them, where does that leave us? Yeah, the, the only thing we have left uh, is the, the very slim House majority. And they, thankfully, Speaker Mike Johnson has said that this really bad, flawed, a uh, deal coming out of the Senate is dead on arrival in the House. The House passed H.R. 2 last year, which is a very tough uh, bill to secure the border that does all the things I just talked about. It constructs, it builds the wall, it ends catch and release, and it goes back to Trump's Remain in Mexico policy. That's that's the only bill that House Republicans are going to go for. Mike, Mike Johnson has effectively, Speaker Johnson has effectively killed the really bad Senate bill that would give that, that would give Biden more power to destroy this country even more with open borders if we pass that very bad deal that uh, the senators have negotiated. So that's all that we have left heading into the November election. We got to get Donald Trump back in office because he's the one that knows better than anyone how to effectively secure our border. That's why I back him 100 percent and can't wait for him to be back in the back in the Oval Office. He understands it. He understands that by executive order, he can go back to the policies that we know that work for this country and end the disastrous uh, Biden border policies that are, are literally ruining our great country every single day with over a, well over a million illegals who have come into this country on his watch. Is Mayorkas going to get impeached? I understand, as you mentioned, it's a slim majority congressman, but the man took over DHS and promptly opened up the border. Surely that's impeachable. He deserves to be impeached. Uh, Mark Green, the chairman of the Homeland Security Committee, is marking up the impeachment uh, articles as we speak. And hopefully they will come to the floor for a vote very soon. Here's what I worry about, the same thing that you worry about, Jesse, and that's squishy, go along to get along Republicans who won't do the right thing and vote to impeach him. And right now we have a, a two majority, two seat majority margin in the House. So when you have uh, some, some of these members, I mean, you know, you know who they are uh, saying that they're not sure if they're going to vote to impeach him or not. That concerns me. But I think at the end of the day, it's important to put this up for a vote. Let make sure that the voters in these squishy Republican uh, members districts know that their member, how their member would vote to impeach a cabinet secretary who very much deserves to be impeached. Uh, on, on the on the other hand, Jesse, I think it's important to note that at, at the end of the day, the buck stops with Joe Biden. He's the president. He deserves to be impeached more than Secretary Mayorkas does because just because of the border alone, let alone all of the corruption issues with the Biden family cartel, Hunter Biden selling access to his dad, the president, to our foreign adversaries. There are lots of reasons to impeach him. But impeach Joe Biden alone because of these open border policies 
that are destroying our country. He deserves to be impeached even more than Secretary Mayorkas does. Congressman, I hope the next time we talk, unless you're on before that, I hope it's Senator Jim Banks. Go support Jim Banks for Senator. Lord knows we need some decent ones in that house. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, sir.